Hi, my name is Jeremy Young and I'm here with uh, Mark Tech and I'm about to take you through the, uh, the Samurai. And Well, basically we have Atom OS 3.0 here at uh, NAB, which is introducing three new features. We have Smart Control, which is a, a recording, um, gang recording remote control from a PC. Uh, we developed this for James Cameron. He had 30 Samurais in his, uh, in his submarine and we, we developed this to be able to record one Samurai at a time or a group of Samurais or the whole, the whole uh, 30. So we call that smart control and that's now in Atom OS 3.0. It'll be avail available on the 30th of April this month and all Samurai customers get that as a free upgrade. The second thing that's in 3.0 is something called smart monitoring. As you see, I've got my red camera here and I'm coming straight out into, into my uh, Samurai out of the HDSDI output. You can see these flags down the side. First one is focus peaking. You can see I've got my red edging there. The second one is uh, zebra and the third one is false color which gives you the, uh, the monitoring functions. This one's blue only. We give you the monitoring functions to really make this a confidence monitor for you. We had customers um, asking for this for the last six months and we're happy to deliver it. We call that smart monitor. And the third thing that's, um, that we think is pretty revolutionary in Atom OS 3.0 is the metadata tagging we call smart log. So it's basically logging, marking, tagging your clips on our device. And remember, it's a portable device, so you can do this anywhere after the shoot. But while there's two modes to this. There's the monitor mode, which I'm about to show you. So if I hit monitor, you can see my favorite and reject come up. If I go back and hit record, what this does for, for, you, for the cameraman and for the whole production process from production to post-production is allow the cameraman to input when he thinks a great shot should be considered for the edit. So we've got favorite. When I touch favorite, that's the start of my favorite. Right now, it's marking my favorite inside the clip. And when I'm finished, when I see that that shot is over, then I hit favorite again, and that's my out point. So when I touch it, it's my in point. When I touch it again, it's my output, my out point. So if I come back, hit stop. Now I'll go back into playback mode. So while we're rebooting into playback mode, what, what I'm about to do is do a pre-edit on a recorder, which then shows up directly in Final Cut, Avid or Adobe as favorites on the timeline. And that gives you your pre-edit before you even start to get to the computer. So here if I go in, here's the footage that I just took. As you saw, I can scrub through just like normal on the Samurai. I can fast forward, stop and go frame by frame. So once I've uh, found the frame that I want, now I go into Smart Log again, hit Favorite. That's my in point. This is in playback mode now. And then I go anywhere else on the timeline, forward or back, and I'm gonna, that's probably good for my, for my out point. Hit it again. I've just done an in and out edit with metadata tagging, ready to go into the editor. How do I then export it? Here I've got FCPX XML. We're adding Adobe and Avid before we release. If I hit that, it now parses into a, a Final Cut project and you just double click on that project on the disk once you put it into the, into the, uh, into the, the doc that we give you. And you basically have your pre-edit already loading inside Final Cut, ready ready for editing. Now this saves you probably about 50% of your pre-edit time and also you can give, think about this, you can give your Samurai or Ninja to the client, you can give it to the director, you can make copies of the same footage, they can mark their favorites, you can give it back to the editor and that's going to one, increase the quality of your production by having more input and two, increase the speed of it because the editor doesn't have to have other people around. Mm -hmm.